Earlier we saw that the hinge joint present in our elbow moves only in one plane. This means the rotation of our forearm should be limited. But we can easily rotate our forearm. How is this possible? There is another joint present at the elbow which allows this rotation. It is the pivot joint. A pivot is a fixed point on which another structure rotates. A pivot joint is formed when a bone rotates in the cavity formed by other bones or ligaments. This joint is also present in the neck. The pivot joint between the first two bones of the neck allows you to move your neck from side to side. Can you visualize the neck movements because of the pivot joint? Can you explain it in your own words to your friends? Let's see how to make a model of this joint. You will need two plastic or PVC pipes, one bigger than the other. Cutter, tape, glue, thread and scissors. Cut off a small piece of the bigger pipe. The cut off piece should be roughly of this size. Let's call this A and B. Tape B to A as shown. On the smaller pipe, wrap a thread along one end and secure it with glue. The end result should look like this. Put the smaller pipe into B. Here you have a simple model of a pivot joint. This twisting action has two movements of bones. Prone, that is when the palm faces downwards. In this motion, one bone twists over the other. Supine, that is when the palm is facing upwards. Here, the bone goes back to the resting position. Pivot joints are also used in machines where parts rotate in one plane about a point. A simple example of pivoting movement is the rotation of the hands of a clock. The chain of a cycle is a very familiar example of multiple pivot joints put together. Challenge time! Now look around and find other examples of pivot joints. Can you explain the joint movement to your friend? Make this model on your own and send us the video. You can also watch the videos under Skeletal System for more details.